Hello and welcome back to Incoral Inverts and Other Animals with me, Phil. Now in today's video, I have some new additions. Uh, a friend of mine who uh, is recently doing a house move because uh, of a new job, um, most of me saying would I be interested in any of his invertebrates. So um, I said yes uh, to these guys. Uh, so I've got a few new additions here. Um, some are species I've already got, so it's just for new blood. Um, some are species I've kept before. So, um, but all of these are because I didn't want any money for them. Um, they were basically gifts. I gave him uh, some drinks. Um, but I've said basically if he wants to end these back at some point when he's sort of settled down uh, after his move and stuff and decides that actually misses perhaps the species um, or the individuals, all he has to do is say and they'll go back to him. So, but let's go ahead and take a look and see uh, exactly what I've got. I've got a little pile of things here along with a load of uh, empty tubs as well as with any invert keeper we get a mass uh, uh, sort of empty tubs and stuff and they always come in handy uh, so I did uh, take a load of empty tubs as well but let's take a look at the animals or the livestock that I've got okay so here we have the first enclosure um, so you get lid off and as you can probably initially see uh, lots and lots of isopods in here they're not the main thing in here and this is actually an enclosure of uh, cockroaches and isopods so, uh, these are question mark cockroaches there's a nymph uh, there's potentially also some dominoes in here as well um, my friend said um, which uh, may sort of cover so I'm going to keep these guys in here and then uh, as they pop up um, as adults kind of move them into other enclosures but also you can see lots and lots of icebergs they're doing really well there is an adult question mark in here so question marks the and hopefully you can see where they get their common name from uh, the absolutely stunning species of cockroach so as you always guys along with uh, all the, the Freya genus um, so I've got question marks I've got dominoes and I've got orange dominoes as well um, and all three species are absolutely fantastic looking so yeah there's really really nice enclosures just full but yeah so many ice and they're doing really really well and lots of nymphs and the second thing here is the predator beetle um, Amphia sex maculata so, um, fantastic species of beetle. Now, these guys I, I've kept before. I don't buy these anymore purely because they're all well caught. Um, really don't tend to breed that often in captivity. I think that there's reports of potentially six times, um, which really isn't that much. So, so yeah, and I find most people don't tend to actually keep these guys that well. Um, but my friend here, this one he's had for over six years, um, this particular one. So, he's done really well with this one. So, I said I'll take this one for him. And so, but it'll be just a one then in this little uh, container here uh another one that's just one i will perhaps hopefully uh, get some more of these guys i just check on the exact species uh for them but uh this in here is a red spotted assassin bug so again fairly old one instead um i just need to double check because there's either two species of red spotted or it got reclassified i'm not entirely sure um, so I'm not going to say scientific name for these ones just yet, I just need to have a look, uh, do a bit of research into scientific name. But Splatimaris, uh, one, um, so I've got the yellow spots already and I keep white spots at work. And now I've got the red spot. And then in here, this is a tub of beetle larvae of uh, Mechanorina tequata ugandensis, which is a fairly large uh, flower beetle, fruit beetle uh, species. So I'm so just digging around to find um, one of the larvae stuff which I'll show you because they uh, they get a really decent size um, as larvae these guys so you can just dig around and around eventually I do I do find one there's a bit of movement there so I can try and grab it without it biting me so because they, they do have a bit of a nip on them uh, if you're not careful so especially at uh, the size uh, that this guy is at I'll say I haven't didn't actually sex the larvae uh, but it can be uh, six at this sort of size. So, so there we go, whop of, of a larvae. So have a look at that, nice and juicy, really, really healthy. So, uh, it's not a surprise, I mean, yeah, my friend who gave the, all these to me, uh, really, you know, he is top notch with his husbandry in terms of keeping stuff. Um, so that was him, and then uh, in here is actually some adults of basically what that larvae will turn into. So these are adult Mechanorina tequata ugandensis, a um, couple of adult males, and then there's a pupae here as well. So this is an adult male. And the great thing about these guys, not only do they get a decent size, um, they are 
relatively easy to care for, much you know, quite similar to a lot of other uh, sort of um, fruit and flower beetles. So this is a pupa, and you can just see. Uh, I can't believe you said there's a female in here uh, pupating. So uh, hopefully, so, and that's a nice female. These are make real big pupa chambers that you can actually look into. And here's another adult male. And you see, it obviously looks very different colours. And this thing, the, the uh, Torquato Yandensis, uh, they uh, can be all sorts of colours um, on them. You get some that are just all blue, almost black, you get ones that are all green, some that are kind of orange, rusty colour, uh, purples, um, all sorts of colours. So they are exactly the same species, yet look very different. But great additions. Okay, so they were my new additions. What do you guys think? Uh, personally, I love them all. They're all species that I really do like. So, um, one of them, obviously the predator beetle, as I said in uh, the video, they're not a species I actually buy anymore. I have done in the past, but I don't anymore just because they're all well caught. Very few people have actually been successful in breeding them. Um, but I was happy to give this one a home. Um, it's a very, very old one, actually. Um, so yeah, we, we sort of worked out that he's probably had it over six years, um, this one. So, so we don't really know how old it is, um, it's still going. So, so we'll see, uh, hopefully uh, do all right with me. I've kept the species before, absolutely fantastic species. Um, and I do really love them, I'm always tempted every time they come up. But I, I, I do uh, stop myself um, from one, but yeah, giving this one a home so, uh, would be fantastic. So, so be, and be fantastic to watch. So along with all the other stuff and all the thing, all stuff. So thank you if you are watching this. I won't name, uh, put his name in online or anything, but thank you, you know who you are. So, um, no, he, he knows I'll be safe uh, with me. And, stuff, and that's what he, he wanted was just them to go to a good home. And as a uh, fear, he wants them back at any point, they'll go back to him. So, um, but otherwise they will, they will stay here. So, so guys, if you did like this video, do, Give this uh, video a thumbs up pop some comments down below and if you haven't yet please do consider subscribing uh, to the channel hitting that bell for notifications still on the road to uh to a thousand subscribers um i didn't quite get there uh for my birthday uh, but i've got close to 900 um i'm not i don't think at the time of recording this i'm about six away uh from 900 so so let's see at least can i get to 900 uh for sunday for the bts show we'll be at the bts uh, coming up so if you're there you know do come and find me come and say hi i'll have stickers with me so, um, i will be taking um, various inverts uh, for sale as well and um, mainly stick insects and um, potentially some snails uh, and some cockroaches as well so so yeah do come along bts kind of best show of the year really excited to, to get back to, uh, back to that show so uh, victoria t and the deep blue sea will be with me as well so um so yeah, but until next time guys, take care, stay safe, and keep rocking.